All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick little demonstration of how you can plant your starts that if you picked any up from the school this past week. Uh, this is gonna be a quick little intro to how you can plant these at home. And this is gonna work if you're planting them in the ground or in a pot. Either way, these plants that we passed out, they'll all grow in either one. So it kind of just depends on your own circumstances. So if you did pick up a tomato, this is literally a piece of a tomato that we snipped off of our big plant in the back. And if you have tomato plants at home, you can do this too when it gets big enough. The only thing I did is they were filled with little smaller branches like this up here, all these. And down here, I just snipped all those off. So there's one there, one down there, and one up there. Snipped them off and I had this sitting in water. And what you'll notice is after a couple days, uh, the roots start to come out of the bottom there. You can see those little white nubs. Those are roots. And if the longer you leave it in the water, maybe about a week or two, uh, the roots will be, you know, about an inch or so off of the plant. And that's only going to speed up the process and kind of ensure that you get a nice transplant. But you can literally snip one off and stick it in the ground right away uh, and just make sure you water it often in the beginning until it starts to grow. But then tomatoes are pretty drought tolerant. So they will live quite a long time without water like in our summers. They just might not produce many tomatoes. So if you have an area of your yard that's already cleared like this, um, then you can literally just stick this in the ground. If it's soft, you wanna make sure it's nice and soft. See, this one isn't as soft. So what you wanna do is I don't have my uh, shovel on me, my hand shovel. You can use a hand shovel and dig down. What you wanna look for is as far up as the branches are, branches are cut, that's how far you want to plant it. So what's cool about the tomatoes is if you look very close, you can see all the little nubs. All of those little nubs are where roots will eventually come out. So, that being said, you can actually plant it all the way up to here. So I'm going to plant this where my hand is. That's where the ground will be. You can plant it underground so this whole part is underground. So at least, you know, six, six to eight inches can be underground. So you want to do that to really ensure that it gets a really, really nice root system. Okay? So I'm going to kind of show you what that will look like here. Yeah, I'm just taking my stick and just getting a nice deep hole with it. And that will work too. If you want to go that route, it works. You can see getting pretty deep down here. Alright, you want to get a hole that's deep enough. This one might not be going as far down as I would like, but pretty close. Okay, and then we're gonna kind of really pack that down around, make sure it's nice and straight. Put a little extra around there, okay. So, that's at least about five or six inches that are in ground now. And what I'll do is come back around and use some natural mulching, whether that's like dried grass, um, that you have a pile of in your yard, or if you have some, some regular mulch at home, uh, if not dyed or colored uh, uh, mulch, you can put that around your plant about maybe two or three inches deep, and then uh, maybe six, seven inches around your plant to uh, protect the plant for one, from the sun, from the heat, but also it's gonna keep the moisture from evaporating, so that soil around your plant's gonna stay nice and wet, uh, but it's also going to uh, provide it um, an, an additional layer of uh, organic material that's gonna grow underneath. So it's kinda gonna be fertilizing the plant as it grows. So it kinda gives you a lot of added benefits there. Um, so that's how you would do a tomato plant. And as you can see, that's pretty sturdy. You can put a stake in there next to it and tie it up. So as it grows, it's gonna have something. Maybe put a tomato cage around it. Um, see, there's no nothing with support here except for these pieces of bamboo. So I could have grown it, planted it next to this bamboo and kind of tied it to this bamboo as it grows up. So it has support. So as long as it has some support to grow along, you'll be good, some strong support. Okay. All right, so if anyone picked any starts up from the school, this is not parsley, this is actually cilantro. Uh, this is just one that we had around the school, some cilantro. It's a little too late to plant cilantro, but y'all might have, we passed out squash and zucchini and watermelon. Those are all great to be planting right now, but I'm just gonna use this as an example of how you can plant those at home, okay? So, 
Essentially, we're gonna want this whole container to be able to fit in a hole. We're gonna take it out of the container, but just to kind of get a visual, okay? So when you are digging your hole, you can use your hand shovel, or I use my hands, okay? We're gonna be digging a nice deep hole just to test out to make sure the hole's big enough. You can kind of pop this inside. All right, as you can see, it's pretty much level with the ground and it can fit, all right? And then with your plants at home, if you give them a nice little squeeze, you know, the plants are gonna pop right on out of there. This I'm just gonna kind of dump out, okay? So then I'm gonna take the entire root ball which is, this is the root ball, all the roots are inside. I want that to stay together. I want that all to stay connected, okay? It's gonna pop into the ground, taking my label out, fix the plant. I don't wanna squish the plant. And then I'm gonna backfill, I meaning I'm gonna put all of the soil back in the hole, okay? Backfilling the soil with the same soil that's around there. And if you're using uh, a bag of fresh soil or you're putting this in a pot, the same thing. You'll have that pot filled up with some potting soil. And then you're gonna secure the plant in. Make sure it's nice. Okay. And then same with any other plant. You wanna, this is all dirt around here and all mud. So if it rains or if you water, it's gonna be splashing mud and dirt up on your plant. You don't want that because it can get infected, right? It might get a disease. So to prevent that, you can have natural mulching. So if you have a big old pile of grass that you can put around this plant, or mulch that doesn't have any uh, chemicals or dyes uh, in the mulch, you can put mulch around here, um, or hay, whatever you have at hand. It was gonna be best, rather than leaving just the soil open uh, for that to damage your plant. Then you, you can also get an opportunity to get your plant to stand up like this um, with putting some natural mulching around there. And as you can see, I'm gonna show an example here. Here are some squashes, the same ones that you should have at home. So whether you're doing them from seed or you got some plant starts from the school, uh, which I should have more if you are looking to do some more, these are good to grow until it gets too hot out. These are all squash plants and as you can see this is just dried grass uh, that I've put around the plant. Each one has dried grass around it. So it's nice and protected when I water. So I can water this plant and the bottoms of the leaves, you can see they're nice and green and there's no dirt on them. So there's nothing that's splashing up on the plants and potentially allowing them to get some type of infection. Okay, and see I'll have them all spaced out here. You want them to get spaced out because they get nice and big and these are all zucchini plants so they're gonna start producing zucchini pretty soon. Um, so that's what they are. These are four zucchini plants. And that is the same way I just showed you with the cilantro is how you can plant the zucchini. Okay, I'm gonna give you all an example of some natural mulch, mulching. So we actually just keep a pile of dried uh, twigs and leaves, branches, old plants, um, whatever we possibly can from the garden. And it's kind of composting back here, but when we plant new things, you can find a nice little patch that's just some like nice dried stuff. As you see there, okay? Just some old weeds we pulled up, but we keep them in a pile out of the way so then when the time comes, if you can kind of see, okay, I'm gonna take, actually, let me show you from above. I'm gonna take my material and kind of rest, lay it around the plant so the plant can rest on it. Okay, so, there we go. All right, see, kind of create a little circle around it. I don't wanna crush the plant, so. Just make sure there's none that's sticking out that's gonna stab it. All right, there we go. And see, now the plant is happy because it's up off the ground and it has some protection around it. So now when I water it, it'll hit here and it's not gonna splash everything up on the plant. And the plant is happy because it's sticking up and it's off of the ground where it's not gonna get damaged. So that's how you would put some natural mulching around your plant. If you don't get to planting your tomatoes right away or you want to let it root, that is totally fine. As you can see, I actually have this con entire container filled of tomato pieces, tomato slips, I like to call them. 
and you can see it's filled with water. I'm gonna stick this one back in there with the rest of them. And all of these will be able to be planted or put in pots. And they're just sitting in water and they'll last a good amount of time in there, especially after they develop their roots. Uh, they will use the water up pretty quickly. So this has already gone down in just a few days. Um, but once they develop their roots, it'll drink this water very fast, especially because there's so many in there, as you can see. They haven't started producing roots yet, but very soon, actually, nope, not yet, but very soon they will be. And then uh, that will speed up the process of them producing tomatoes. So if you look over here, where, aha. This tomato plant hasn't been here for too long. We did this one along the fence. And as you can see, it's producing tomatoes. This one got some damage. But the other ones look really good. As you can see here. Okay, so this one's ready to eat. Guess I'll take that one as a snack. This one I'm gonna take off. And this one's almost ready. And that one's still green. So you can see this plant's pretty small, but it's already producing. It's mixed in with a lot of other stuff over here.